Hey guys, what's up? This is Kay with Skywalker Game Studios, and on my screen you'll see some 3D models right here, and believe it or not, these were all generated with AI. And AI generated models are actually getting really good. Um, they're not perfect, but the technology is getting there. So this is a mushroom. You can see some problems, so obviously it will take a little bit of work to clean up and everything. Here's a car and the tractor. This was supposed to be an axe. Obviously, that's not very good. That's what this was supposed to be. It looks like it blunted with like a shovel or something. Here's a robot. I mean, these and but the top's missing. I tried to create a tractor just to see what it would give me. We have a lizard, a monster that actually turned out pretty good. A lot of these work really good as a basis. There's a skeleton, and then this golem thing that I actually like how he turned out. Um, anyway, let me show you how I did this. So, went over here to BlunderMarket.com and searched for Blunder AI Library Pro. It's 12 bucks and it's really fun to play with. Just go ahead and get that, view your order, and then download the zip file. Looks like that. I don't need to install it because I already have it installed. And then hop back over into Blender. Let's do new file, general, don't save. Let's get rid of our infamous default cube. Um, I don't want the camera or anything in there. And let's go up into Edit, Preferences, oops, Preferen I accidentally clicked off of it. Go to Add-ons, and then you want to click this little down arrow right here, Install from Disk, go to Downloads, and then Find, so in my case, uh, Library Pro, select Zip, and then Install from Disk, I'm not going to do that. Mine's already installed. Just make sure this box is ticked right here. And from here, you're gonna click Install Dependencies. I'm just gonna do it again anyway. It should take a moment. And let's see here, we're good there. So after that's done, just check models, set modules are installed. So you go there, you can close that out. Now, what we need to do is press N, and go over to Blender AI Library, and you should see this right here. And if you don't have this where it is, is this, just click check, just to make sure that's, if as long as you see this, you're good to go. And we're just gonna stay on the AI tools. And then we just want to type in a prompt. Right here is what we're looking for. So let's do a, let's just do, let's try Snoopy. Snoopy stylized 3D model. It's important to put 3D model after it at the end or somewhere in there. That way it knows that you're trying to create a full 3D model. So give you kind of the basis of like a full image. Otherwise it might end up cut off and stuff like that. And that'd be an issue. So let's go ahead and generate text to image. There's Snoopy. And then once that looks good, all you have to do is click generate image to 3D and let it do its thing. After a few minutes or seconds, you should have, this is your 3D model right here, and then it's generating a sprite based off of it. And this actually is surprisingly good. Let's just turn this around. Z. Except for the feet. The feet look weird, but that's actually really freaking cool. And if we look at the 
Oh, that's probably the best one I've gotten yet. If you look at the geometry, it looks like this, but a little bit of retopo could easily fix that, or you could just leave it as is. Let's just go ahead and smooth that out. Um, but anyway, look at that. That's really cool. Let's try another one. JX. Let's do up and do three of them. Let's do. Uh, I wonder if it knows who Pink Panther is. Panther, watch, give me like a leopard or something. <laughs> see, generate text to image. Eh, not quite, but looks like I took a panther and blend it with like a Pokemon or something. Uh, let's generate image to 3D. Give it a moment. This is the progress bar right here. Right here. As soon as you see generate MS, MVS, bleh, uh, then you know it's good. And as long as it's right here. These are generated in a GLB file. All right, so let's look at this. R Z. And that's actually really good too, surprisingly. Um. That's pretty freaking cool. All right, let's do one more. Let's just for giggles, let's try. Um, let's try pickup truck. I want to see if it can do a pickup truck. I don't know if it can, but we'll try it. Realistic 3D model. And yeah, we'll leave defaults, generate image. Actually looks pretty cool, but can it do it? Let's see. Generate image to 3D. That looks pretty good so far. Don't know if it'll be as good though, we'll find out in a moment. Eh, kinda, not really. Looks like it struggles with some things, but it's still pretty fun to play around with, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, and since that one was terrible, let's just drag that one down. Let's just do one more. Let's do a crystal golem. Stylized. Now let's do realistic. Let's see what it gives us. Stick, model, and generate. <coughs> that looks pretty cool. Let's see what it gives us. That one looks pretty cool too. Um, anyway, these models give you a really good basis to work from. Um, or at least, you know, you can use it as a starting point, or like a base model, or just for inspiration. Um, and then you can like fix it up and stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, it's really fun to play with. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys that, so it's there if you want to try it out. Um, I think there's another one in the Blender Market, but I forget the name of it. But this is the one I have, and I had some issues, but the developer helped me work through it, and now it's working fantastic. Um, I'm going to throw all these models, including the ones that you saw at the beginning, on my patreon page and if you're a um patreon supporter you can have access to that uh other than that you are more than welcome to watch this video to learn how to use it pretty much and 
like and subscribe if you're stuck around the whole video and you guys have a happy holiday